good morning dear students welcome back to the class dear students in our yesterday class we discussed about the first three types of the selection construct so in this class we shall continue the discuss about the remaining types of the selection constructs that is the fourth one is nested and the fifth one is switched statement so in this the fourth one nested if here the nested if means the statement if with the another if statement that is called as nested if one if statement kolgade mattondu if statement na call madadikke naavu nested if anta kariyidi so here if the statement if the statement the statement if with the with the another if statement another if statement it's called as nested if one if statement kolgade innondu if statement varadikke naavu nested if anta kariyidi so here the general form for this nested if is the general form for this nested if is here if the test condition if the test condition is one within this if statement another if statement is present so the test condition two so here one the if statement will be there in one if statement either the can have nested if and the kariyidi so in this the if the test condition two is a true then the statement one is executed if it is false again the statement to is executed so here this condition to true or the statement one exit agutte so if it is false the statement to is ex execute so here this test condition is again test condition one is true again the test condition true to is executes if the test condition one is false then again if statement spec comes with the another if statement so here if the test condition 3 is tested so here if the test condition 3 is true then the statement 3 is executed if it is else statement 4 is execute so this is the general form one the if statement alli inno the if statement call agutte so adralli ee second condition enadru true aadre statement one execute agutte if it is false statement two is execute so if the test condition one is false then the test condition three is call then it is true statement three is executes if it is false statement four is executes so here this is the general form the flow chart for this nested if statement is here if test condition 1 it if it is true then if test condition 2s execute so here if the test condition is false then another test condition that is if the test condition 3s executes so here if this test condition 2s true then statement 1s executes if it is false then the statement 2s executes so in this test condition 3 if it is true the statement Three is executes. If it is false, then the statement four is executes. So this is the flowchart for this nested if. In this nested if means here the if the statement if within the another if statement called that statement is called as nested if constructs. So here. This is the general form, and this is the flow chart. Here, if the test condition one is true, again, if the test condition two is tested. So here, if the test condition two is true, 
then the statement one is executes if it is false the statement two is executes here if the test condition one is false then the test condition three is a tested if it is true statement three is executes if it is false the statement four is executes so this is the this is about the tested if now let me discuss one example okay note down this now we we'll discuss the example for this tested if The example for this nested if is to find greater of three numbers. Three numbers only. Now the greater of the note the first again on the day here in this the three numbers are A, B, and C. Here the test condition if A is greater than B. Again, within this if statement, another if statements are present. That is, if A is greater than C, this is the condition. Now, we are going to give the statement one is true. Again, the statement, the condition two is executed. So now we are considering the statement two. So here, if the A is greater than C, now take an example for this. The value of A is six. The value of B is four, and the value of C is two. Now it is a we are it is our consideration. So here the value of A is six, the value of B is four, and the value of C is two. So here the A is greater than B, and C is greater than B is greater than A, C is greater than B, and C is A is also greater than C. So here. If the condition is A is greater than C, here the value of A is six, the value of C is two. So this A is greater than C. So this condition is true. If this condition is true, then print the output or the output is A. If it is true, then the output is A. And here, if it is False. Then the output is what C. Here, according to this example, the value of A is six, so which is greater than the value of C. If it is condition true, then the output is A. If it is false, the output is C. So this condition is satisfied now. So here, if suppose if the first is Test condition A is greater than B is false. If it is false, again the another conditions will be considered. That is, if B is greater than C. E condition two are there. Statement two in other words, test condition two execute are there. So if the another first statement false are there, again the third test condition will be considered. So here, if B is greater than C. Here the value of B is four. The value of C is two. Here the B is greater than the four is greater than two. So this condition is satisfied. If this condition is satisfied, then the output is B. If it is false, then the output is C. So E is second or third conditionally. The value B is not greater than B. B print that again. Suppose C is not greater than B. The condition false or the output is not there. C print that again. So according to this example, the value of B is greater than the value of C. Hence, it is printed B. Suppose if it is fail, then the output, the greater value is C. So this is an example for this nested if. Okay. Note down this. Now. We are going to discuss about the last and fifth types of the selection construct. That is special statement. The last and fifth type of the selection construct is.
more than two alternative more than two alternative statement to be statement to be executed more than two alternative statement andre one kinta hechu statement enagutte execute agodike nanu switch statement anta karithivi so here the general form for this switch statement is your switch this is expression so here the case one when the statement one is execute then break again case two the statement two is execute then it break and similarly it continues till the case n when the statement n is execute then break and if it is not execute then default then default statement execute default statement execute so this is the general form for the switch statement even the switch statement alli one kinta jaasti statements enagutte execute agutte so when the switch statement is executed yavaga ee switch statement execute agutto then first this expression is evaluated switch statement yavaga ella execute agutta avaga first ige enagutte ee expression nu evaluate agutte evaluate aadmele the value of expression which is compared with each cases ee expressions the value enu irutto aa ella values pratiyondu case jothe enagutte compare aagta hogutte then with which cases are matches to that expression compare aagta hoguvaga yav ondu case ee expression ge match aagutto aa expression enagutte execute then the which cases are matches to this expression then that expression is executed then the controls are comes out so if the cases are not matches to this expression then the finally default statement is executed so this statements yavaga ela execute aaguvaga expression first ge evaluate aagi amale the value of this expression no ee ella case jothe compare aagta hogutte yav case jothe ee expression value ku match aagutho aa expression nu execute aagi controls ku horgade barutte expressions in other cases to the match aagle la antre finally default statements are executed now discuss the flow chart for this switch statement that is here the switch expression switch expression so here case label 1 case label 2 and the label n and the default so here the statement 1 is execute and the statement 2 is execute and the statement n is execute and finally the default statements are execute so here if there is no expressions are matches to cases then in that condition the default statement is execute so this is the flow chart for the switched statements okay and this the case labels here the case labels are indicates the values of the expression for which the statement is execute illi case label a na indicate madutte ant helidre statement alli yava values expression the values of expressions are executed for which the statements are executed yav statement execute agutto aa bandu statements ku expressions values na indicate madunthade ee case label okay this is the general for now we'll take one example for this switch statement note down this now we'll move on to the example the example for the switch statement is finding 
name of the day name of the day so here the sketch day number day number so here the case one statement one means print monday mean day and the case two print tuesday Thank you.